Uh, hey, hey, Trenton. Uh, you know the big the, the big game was uh, this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like I, like I was telling you before, man. Like Duck Swirsky, he didn't deserve what they did to him, man. That that, I know. Three, that three game penalty for what excessive celebration is that? What a hip thrust is nowadays. <laughs> and, and, and my gosh, days that was called a good time. <laughs> And I, listen, I know they're called Philadelphia Eagles, but they did not have to actually. Ki- Del- 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 <laughs> they didn't. They did. Not, they did not have to literally shoot five eagles before they started. Yeah, that was rough. That, uh, was, that was a controversial <laughs> decision. They had PETA members chained to the wall, and they could not do anything. Yeah, about yeah, it, it was awesome. I mean. <laughs> Well, now you know which way, which side of the fence I come down on. Yeah, killing animals. Uh. I don't know. Anyway, Trenton, what are we doing? What are we doing? What is this? Talking about, I don't know, eagles, I guess. No, 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 I just realized something. I just became cognitively aware that we're just wasting our lives here. We're not doing anything right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing here? This is not important. And I feel like we are wasting our precious time on this earth, not figuring out the greatest answer of all, of all time. Which fast food mascot <laughs> would kill each other in a bracket-style tournament to, deter- to determine who is the strongest? Now we're talking? <laughs> That's the big game. I thought this was going to be a lot more boring than it is when he told me about it. Oh, 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 oh. This is not only... Do I have a list of? Here we go. Uh, tw- uh, 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 twenty. I have twenty six. Twenty six fast food mascots, and we're going to pin them in a bracket style to determine today which one would win in a free for all Super Smash Brothers style tournament. Uh, and I am using their canonical powers as to determine their power level, and then we are going to. Roll dice depending on their power level to see if who's gonna win. I don't know, man. A lot of these mascots can like warp space time. So like for 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 example, okay, uh, like just to get you some clarification of how this is going to work, like Little Caesar is a little guy, but he has a spear. Okay, that's a weapon. I'm using that in into how their power you rankings can say gonna one go. Word. Um. I have a wheel here already set up for numbers between 1 and 26, and it's going to randomly generate who is going to be fighting each other at the start. That way, we don't immediately talk about the powerhouses. I've done a little bit of research, and, I, and I've tried to make this the most fair as I can, and I try to use the most iconic of fast food mascots. Um, but I, I have some little surprises thrown inside as well. In 26, that's... It's like most of the chains that have a mascot in America. Oh, I, I can get really specific. Because I, I originally this was going to be 38. So, I mean, some of the ones I'm not using is the Denny's Grand Slam mascots, which was for That's freaked hu- up. humanized... Uh, That's freaked up. I know. Uh, it breaks G- Geneva Convention. What's wrong with you? Um, the Munches band from uh, Chuck E. Cheese. That's freaked up. The backup band. Uh, some of these I really wish actually, I could keep. But, actually, um, did... I didn't, what? I, I, didn't, I didn't know either of those two things existed. <laughs> but, uh, you said most popular mascot. No, no, no. Did those... you just say Chuck E. Cheese's backup band? <laughs> yes, okay, so that is the stuff that did not make it. They have a backup band? They, he does have a backup band. Uh, there is one that's a chicken, one's like a purple monster. Not Grimace, very similar to Grin, uh, Grimace, though. One was a cowboy dog. That, that's the backup <laughs> yeah, band. Grimace. <laughs> Grimace, <laughs> yeah. of course. Okay, so... I say, let's just get into it. We're not going by. We're not going by the hour. We are going until we have a definitive winner. Ooh. Okay, so Trenton, here we go. We're going to find out our first contestants to fight in this death battle. Here we go. The Super Smash Burgers Crisis on Infinite Burgers. That's what we're doing right here. We're hey, going... I didn't. T- I didn't tell you I wanted to stay. Too bad. I, didn't tell you <laughs> I I'm locked the here. doors, crabs. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll. Uh... I got about an hour and a half before my bladder 12, explodes. 15, 15 um, 16, 17, 18. Okay. So I'll give you an hour because it takes me about 30 minutes to get my catheter in. Perfect. Yes, <laughs> Just actively just try to use the catheter right now to save us some time. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so the first contestant we have in this death battle is a group. It's a group of people. Um, and it's called the Burger King Kids Club. Uh, who's is le- that a mascot? Burger King Kids Club. Okay. I'm questioning your mascot choices. Okay. So the Burger King Cl- uh, Kids Club was for the kids' menus, uh, items, and they had commercials, and they were their leader was uh, Kid Vid. Um, Dude, these kids are going to get free. Okay, so... Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Is that the freaking kid from Recess in the back left? They all look very Recess-like. <laughs> that back left? That's not Recess-like. <laughs> That's exactly the black kid from Recess. So, the Burger King Kids what Club here. Um, yes. Oh, oh, you don't remember Black Kid's name? I remember most of the kids from... I think I remember TJ, and that's it. Good save. <laughs> Um, so the power levels of the Burger King Kids Club wiki, Kid Vid is the most powerful. Kid Vid has the power of electricity. Um, <laughs> the most powerful. Yes, but you also have strength in numbers. Like, IQ is very smart. Uh, is we, he the Asian kid? Like, no, no. Who's it, that? It, who the freak is that? He is, n- he is not affiliated with the Burger King Kids Club. Um, is that fan art? I, 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 I think, is that an OC? I think it's fan art. <laughs> Kid Vid, like, look at Kid Vid over here with all of this, all of this 90s tech here. That's way too much gear. They're ad- very, I've never seen these guys. They're very adventurous. Um, um, <laughs> that's some fan art of them being really fat. Um, oh, that's good. Uh, they're very adventurous. They're very smart. Uh, wise beyond their years. They have an attack dog. Who has goggles? What, what, so. ma- what makes them wise? Hmm? They're just smart. They're smart. And Why? They, they, Burger what? King told us to. To tell them that. If I were going to, to go... To tell them they're smart. <laughs> now, well, now, okay. okay. So you have no reason to believe they're smart. <laughs> or wise. So, so you He's see... counting the kids. So, He's avoiding the question. So you see how there's eight people in the Burger King's Kids Club? I'm going to make this very difficult for you. <laughs> that means their power level is a 1d8. Oh, we just go by the amount of people? No. Or did you give them each a power level of 1? We, we, get, we gave them all each a power level... I'm gonna say the dog does not really count as one, so Kidvid is is as two. Wow, it adds to it. Okay, because um, Kidvid does have electric he's a powers. Tank dog. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he looks like he's about to teach me multiplication. He does, and he's about the size of a beagle. So let's see. So <laughs> let's see who is going to go against the Burger King Kids Club here. I think it could be just about anyone, and it'll be a freaking trouncing. Okay, we have the tenth seed. Okay, remove that, and we need to remove 18. Okay, so that was number 10. I'm just saying, Kid Vid has electricity powers. Is, do any of the other kids have anything? Okay. Hold on, do, I will, do any of the other kids have any powers at all? One has a wheelchair. Anyway, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's a superpower. <laughs> well, okay, the good news is... So, some people just got really mad at you. <laughs> what? <laughs> you lucky ducks! <laughs> I wish I was... That's yeah. equipment. <laughs> right, Right. It's like a spy drone <laughs> that adds to your power. Okay, so the next one, I think I'm, this... I'm just saying, each of those kids, giving them a power level of one is generous. Kid it is. Kids being electric, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I could kill every single one of those other kids with a well-timed whip kick. That is true. I could snap their spine. But I will say, I think the Burger King Kids Club had the best chance, okay, of, of winning this one. Because they're going against a trio... Of Chick Fil A cows, uh, which have power level. Oh, f- <laughs> no, those cows are gonna freak those kids. <laughs> but up. each one of them, they're cows, power- and they can stand on two legs. That's true. They're bipedal cows. They can do, read and write. You know write. how freaking heavy cows are, and how much muscle they have. Yes, I can shoot one with a gun. <laughs> the kids can't. Electri- that, no electricity. How much? Huh? How much? Has he ever has he ever shown how much electricity he can output? Okay, all eight of them could cow tip one of them, and then do it to the rest of them. So I gave them. You... <laughs> <laughs> so you're wrong. I mean, I'm just I gotta say you're wrong right now. The cows would freak, turn these guys into beef bags. So now I know who you're playing. You're playing for the cows, and I'm playing for the bird. Are you serious? Kids you're saying. Yes, I've already made these power rankings. He thinks the cows, Yes, the three cows put together, are a power level of four. Yes. And you think these eight children, with, one with electricity powers and one in a wheelchair. And one is really smart as well. I don't well. care. 
they can't use anything they don't have. That's part of the rules. You Sh- added the free strength thing. in numbers, sir. The cows <laughs> could lift them to death. They're children. Too bad. He, th- what, you think? Okay, whatever. All right, roll it. Okay, three, two, one. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it. Okay, so my one d eight rolled a two. The cows got a three. Yes. The cows advance. Oh, the cows freaking tip those kids into the abyss. All right, so the cows move on. Time to see our next matchup. They lured those kids to the edge of Tartarus with a chicken sandwich <laughs> and tipped them right in. You already have chicken sandwiches at Burger King, you dummies. They go to stupid jail. <laughs> the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Oh, that's 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 tough competition. <laughs> okay. Power ranking. A four. And the reason is... It's you think one chihuahua... One chihuahua... Is equal to three cows. I don't go below a four. <laughs> the Taco Bell chihuahua... <laughs> to my <laughs> knowledge... To my knowledge... You don't go below a four because it's the lowest dice we have. <laughs> the Taco Bell chihuahua is just a very attractive... I think women love him. But he, he can speak Spanish. He is smart enough to get his Taco Bell. But okay. that is all he is. He's a little bit cunning, so he, he, this might be another upset. Hey, Garrett, I just I have so many problems with the power levels you've assigned to these people. This is why this is why we work together on projects because you have raw creativity. But man, you're dumb. <laughs> all right, next one. You made. Ooh, Let's going see. against number eleven. The Dairy Queen Lips. <laughs> the way this dynamic works, I don't come up with things, okay? I'm not raw creativity. Garrett is creativity unbridled, but sometimes i got to slap him in his stupid face <laughs> okay. and say that's just step too far. Okay. He didn't have his blacksmith, so he said the cows were equal to one chihuahua. <laughs> Three cows that can walk on their two <laughs> legs and are smart enough to read and write. But, but have you seen their spelling? <laughs> they came up with an entire cunning campaign to get people off of cows. <laughs> they used chickens as a scapegoat. <laughs> okay? And you said they're equal to a chihuahua that can eat tacos? <laughs> <laughs> you nonsense! The next one is the... Dairy Queen lips. Do you remember the Dairy Queen lips trend? No. Oh, this. You're Where go- are you getting any of this? You are going to hate this. Okay. <laughs> For years, um, Dairy Queen had a oh, mascot actually, that was just a pair of lips. Listen, I didn't have television. I didn't grow up bougie like that. So the Dairy Queen I don't lips. Like that very much. Uh, this is him eating is he a eating a person. <laughs> He's eating a child. He knows aliens. And he is friends with aliens who. Oh, they, they look like freaking animorphs. Yeah, uh. And Is that the a freaking. What, what were they called? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. Was that a freaking taxon that he was talking to? <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, he's from a, from a different nebula. Um, but yeah. one of the things is he can eat. <laughs> <laughs> what, the picture of Steve Harvey next to him? <laughs> You look up Dairy Queen Lip, and you get a hundred pictures of Dairy Queen Lips, and Steve Harvey smiles. <laughs> what is that there? It's so out of place. It's so freaking fun. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the Dairy Queen... What the freak is that? I have no clue. Introducing Dairy Queen Sweet Deals. Okay, so... What did he sound like? Or she? Is it he it's she? a he. Okay. It's a he. Um, Those are some buxom lips. Pretty buxom. <laughs> I have no buxom lips. <laughs> I have no buxom lips when <laughs> well, I, I see, see them. What? The Dairy Queen double cheeseburger meal is just four ninety nine. This could be the greatest deal of all time. Oh, time travel. That's also part of it. Okay, so that, that's the Dairy Queen lips, um, which we have just established. Now, I was just going by the, fa- the fact that he has a powerful bite and he likes to engulf things with his giant mouth. He has a powerful bite? Powerful bite. He can eat. He can suck food in very well. As we saw, he can suck in that little <laughs> good Girl Scout very well as he <laughs> when he ate I mean, her. He didn't cut her in half, though. He just slurped her up like a noodle. Yeah, but... It's not a freaking Titan. But he's going to be gone. 
It's, she's going to be gone. She's he's eaten. Bored. Go to even. where? It's like a skeleton drinking a soda. <laughs> No, okay, no, no, he, no, no, no. She would just come out the other side. No, no, it is a, it is a, a dimensional life form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, ma- it's like a bag of holding could digest you. You tell uh, me this is like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So I gave him a power level of twelve, and that's now, inc- now including his time travel and being able to summon aliens from different dimensions. Okay. So I'm just saying the cows. Those kids deserved a power level four. The cows deserved at least a six. Ah, oh, oh. If you can show me one example of that kid putting off a significant amount of electricity, when you say he controls electricity, does his hair just stand up on end? No, no, he just like zaps stuff and then pff, Burger King appears. So also, there you go. Anyway, uh, who That's you pl- who okay. you decide to play with? Uh, Gentlemen's rules: uh, Taco Bell Chihuahua or the Dairy Queen Lips? Who are you feeling more frisky? <laughs> I mean, the D4 hasn't failed me yet. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Dairy Queen lips. I'm rooting for the Chihuahua. I hate these lips. We're not even at Ronald territory yet. Oh. Hey, where it lies? Eight. <laughs> four! Damn! He gave his little heart! Oh, wait, wait, oh, that's oh four. no, 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 no. Okay. okay, okay. Let's re roll if you're gonna do shit like that. Okay, okay. Re-roll. three, two, one. Eleven. Okay, uh. Oh, 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 oh Alright, so. So, uh, how I would play that is, uh, the talk about Chihuahua literally just stepped to the lips and was eaten in one second. I've seen, I've um, seen it in Bug Wars. <laughs> bug Wars? Yeah, Bug Wars. Alright, the Dairy Queen lips go on. We eventually will find Cow versus Lips. Exciting stuff here, folks. <laughs> Moving on to the next seed. I'm so mad. I'm sure I'm going to find more reason to be mad at your power ranking. That's very true. Ooh, if the twenty fourth seed. If you pull out the freaking hamburger and it's like he's cunning, twenty. <laughs> like, are you freaking? Idiot? All right, so that was twenty four. Yeah, of uh, each person like on the wheel. Like before I sh- I, we started. I sh- well, I was trying to get it started faster, but that was a foolish. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. Prevention, my friend. We're gonna go with mellow mushroom. If I, if I was told to cut down a tree in six hours, I'd choose I'd use the first five sharpening my axe. <laughs> That's George Washington. Okay. So, Mellow Mushroom... Uh, oh, no, this guy freaks. See, see. first off, you got this guy here. Holy, the actual that mascot. the most sinister. The mascot, crap. To, the mascot suit for Mellow Mushroom, I've just discovered, is one of the most terrifying things in all of existence. Um, so, Mellow Mushroom, he's an alien, basically. Alien... Uh, he's not an alien, he's a fungus. He is a fungus. A fungus not from this world. But one of the things I found out is he has access to a wizard who can help him for anything. Yes. Wait, hold on. Is he actually an alien? Is that confirmed? Yeah, uh, what I've seen, what there was a comic where they were in spaceships traveling to Earth. Um, and while they were there, he does have an arch nemesis... Um, who, but I, but the comic was never completed, so we don't know anything else. Was the else. comic canon? The comic was canon. Okay. Um, but he, one of the I things is, he has a wizard, he also has an older brother that will help him fight as well. Oh, no, that's power. So, <laughs> so. He has a wizard and an older brother. <laughs> like, they're comparable. But also, one of the things that is more terrifying, he does exist in the real world. He even has that's a, scary. he even have a spirit Halloween costume. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is fun. <laughs> so, because of the fact that he has an all-powerful wizard who can help him, and an older brother, and a spaceship, D12. Uh, D12. You, you said the words all-powerful wizard, and you put him in the same category as a pair of lips? Yes. <laughs> That's how you, sh- you should be scared of the lips. <laughs> I don't think I should. <laughs> Alright, next one. Going up. They're still just lips. I mean, like, theoretically, you hey. could just slice them with a knife and hey. they would bleed profusely. Loose, loose lip sink ships. <laughs> <laughs> Number 20. That's why we gotta keep this fool on a leash. <laughs> He'll sink our whole flotilla. <sighs> oh. <laughs> the next one comes from the fast food chain uh, Culver's. Who has a mascot named Butterburger? Scoopy. It's Scoopy. Oh, wait a minute. He's an ice cream boy. I don't know about that one, but the top left one is cute. 
Yeah, it's a little it's a little ice cream guy. Scooby. Scooby. I don't like him in real life either. Uh, Jeez. Uh, Why are all their costumes like? <laughs> he doesn't have pupils. No. Made his entire eyes freaking black with a gleam in them. Okay, so the thing is with Scooby. Is that me? Is that me? It's I hate this Scoopy. <laughs> this Scoopy has killed four people. He really has. Um, okay, the so the more he kills, the wider his smile. Gets. Okay, to my knowledge, okay, there's a superhero Scoopy, but it's just a Halloween costume, so don't get your hopes up. Scoopy is just a giant sentient thing of ice cream, an abomination to God and Buddha. So uh, there you go. Um, I gave Scoopy. <laughs> I gave Scoopy a 1d4. <laughs> I mean, um, I, I, there's, that there, makes sense. I don't think he even has good grip strength, and I think he couldn't survive. Well, you know, you you could, know what? You he is out. Them. He is out in the sun, so maybe he actually has a way to make it so he doesn't melt. I don't think so. You don't think so? You just think he's being very dangerous and bold being out in the sun like that? All right, then he's got guts. Um, listen, you could give them a dice minus. Oh, I've done that something. with I've done that with one of them. One of them. One of them. You thought the Chihuahua deserved a four? <laughs> How's it get worse than a Chihuahua? Scoopy. Anyway, That's true. Scoopy. Um, I would argue Scoopy is worse. Okay, so let me just. Who do you want to play just, for? Let me just point out again: three sentient <laughs> bipedal cows. <laughs> One ice cream cone. Same power level. It's a giant sentient ice cream. Oh, not. Is it? No, it's not. Look at those. Some of those pictures are small as free. <laughs> you don't know how big that field is. You don't yeah, know what perspective right. the camera's at. Well, that person's holding him in his hand. <laughs> like an ice cream, like an ice cream cone. cone. <laughs> but this one looks a little bigger. Is that, are we allowing that into evidence now? <laughs> Humans playing Scoopy? <laughs> so if put... I can get a picture of a Superman going to Spirit Halloween and dressed as Scoopy, are we allowing that into evidence? It's not the real Scoopy. Are you? I hate you. <laughs> So what he for? You're nonsensical. Yeah, actually, Give him a minus. He's a freaking <laughs> ice cream cone. I'm not. Why? I've already. What can he do? I've already put this in the stone towels. What can he do? He's an ice cream cone. What can he do? <laughs> he can melt and be eaten. <laughs> and you think he's equal Fine. to three <laughs> sentient five people? Fine. Out. He's a coin. This Thank one's you. worth one. This one's worth two. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all I need. But Mellow is still a 12. Anyway. I believe that. Okay, Which here we go. Which one's a one? Uh, that one's a one. That one's a two. That makes sense, because it has 200 on it. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one. Go, Scoopy! Oh. Two. <laughs> 12. Oh, wow. That's Mellow! Cool. Mushroom! <laughs> it moves on. Yay! Uh, plot twist: It was actually his big brother that killed Scooby. <laughs> it's three on it's three on one. That's not really fair. Uh, for an I, I actually kind of don't like him now. <laughs> he said, "Hi, I'm Scoopy." <laughs> you scared the freak out of Pebbles. I'm man. sorry. I'm sorry, man. I had to do it. <laughs> He's sleeping on the. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mel did. I didn't. Such a douche. All right, next one. <sighs> Ooh, ooh, our 26th. Okay, let's see. Okay, Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese. Are you familiar with Mayor McCheese? Uh, nope. Mayor McCheese is from, uh, guess what, uh, McDonald's. Okay. 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 He is the mayor oh, wait, yeah. of McDonald Land. Uh, McCheese. Man, yeah, I know that. What do you look like? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what he looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you look disappointed? Uh, He's great. What is with his freaking tumorous dimples? <laughs> He's happy. Don't look at that one. Uh, <laughs> Mayor McCheese is a happy is a happy guy, okay? He's not just happy. He needs to go to a doctor get those bones shaved down. <laughs> he has power. Political power. Does he? Yes, he does. He's the mayor. He's the mayor of McDonaldland. Does he, he outrank... Ronald McDonald? Yeah, yeah. Ronald McDonald is his citizen. But he cannot call upon Ronald to do bidding because, I mean, he's 
McDonald Land is a democracy. He was voted in. Um, but he makes what? delegations. Um, and I do think that Mayor McCheese probably does have a task force to help him. But that is just, that's not canon. I have not seen that. So all we know is Mayor McCheese is a hamburger-headed political figure. Um, right. Yes. So he's probably never, like, even, like, done his own bed. You know what I mean? That's true. But you can't... If you give him anything above a four. But... <laughs> you can't... He can't bring his delegation. <laughs> but you have to be smart in order to win the political rat race no, of McDonald no, Land. And no. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> and if McDonald Land was going to be taken under fire, and this is like Smash Brother rules, okay? McDonald's is basically the Mario, okay? Um, okay, I'll... Everyone's here. I'll, uh, okay, you know what? I'll play devil's advocate. I'll, I'll, I will advocate for Mayor Cheese here. Mayor Cheese is the mayor of a world that was created by Ronald McDonald. He basically beat God <laughs> in a political campaign. There we go, there we go. So and that is why... He's quite the diplomat. And that is why 1d6 for Mayor McCheese. Me? Now let's see... I'm freaking around. Let's see who Mayor McCheese is going to fight. I really want McCheese to win this whole thing. I really want to. Yeah. Let's, let's see who we got. Number nine. Are you removing the numbers as you hit them? Yes. Okay. Okay, number nine is Little Caesar. All right, so Little Caesar, okay, he's a, he's a little guy with a spear. Pizza, pizza. Exactly, he says pizza, pizza. That's all um, I can say. But the thing is, he's one of the few mascots who has a weapon. Most don't. Uh, and he has a spear, which is exactly why I gave him 1d6, because he is Caesar, Julius Caesar, reincarnated for a pizza mascot, just smaller, with a spear, which is exactly why he has our modifier of 1d6 plus 1, and that plus 1 is a spear. How much research did you do? Barely. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I expect you to be like, <clears throat> now we saw, we did see in a commercial in 1964, <laughs> Little and Caesar him. did break through a stone wall with his spear. <laughs> we know his penetrative power is high. Yeah, so. No, you just said, you looked at him and said, well, he has a spear. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, he's Caesar, I guess. Well, here's another thing. We have, we have two political icons here. Mayor McCheese and... And reincarnated pizza mascot, You're Little a Caesar. Leap of logic here, I don't think. Just because he has the same name and same look, he's Roman. Anyway, uh, so who do you want to fight for, Mayor McCheese? Mayor or, McCheese. Okay, okay, but Little Caesar can get the shaft. There, if even if we tie, Little Caesar wins with that with that spear. Okay, here we go. What? Yeah, it's one d six plus one. Not fair. Too bad. We've just established that Mayor McCheese. <laughs> there was a chance political acumen. There's a chance Little Caesar could have went against God. Is equal okay? to the creator of the universe that is McDonald Land. <laughs> he didn't create McDonald Land. He just runs McDonald Land. Then why is it named after him? What? We're going against Mayor McCheese. Not. The, the, I know, but you said McDonald didn't make McDonald Land. They just where McDonald Ronald McDonald lives. I assume. Let's roll. Listen, it, okay, listen. If I to live somewhere, if you nitpick cold, every single fight, we're never gonna get this done. I told you. <laughs> Three, two, one, a roll. I won. <laughs> so what do you have to say? Stabbed him right in his freaking temple. <laughs> he, he He's just, a huge target. So Mayor, uh, Mayor McCheese was in his office, and then suddenly. He was just like writing stuff down, and then a spear just went through the office like a freaking assassination attempt. It just well, the, the the windows started to rattle, and then he was like, "What is happening?" And, he then, goes, rubber, rubber, rubber. and then time slows down, and we see a spear break the entire <laughs> wall and just fly straight for his heart. The last thing he heard and was the whole world just wipes out. Right before <laughs> the last thing he heard was pizza, pizza, pizza. pizza. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, so in the next one... Wait, 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 wait. He put him on a pizza. <laughs> oh, hamburger pizza. This guy is sick and twisted. <laughs> Somebody stop this sick man. <laughs> All right. Next up. Number oh, can we add that to the... Can we add that to the... the canon? What? Will Caesar's... <laughs> Is a sick murderer. Can we add a plus one? Oh, a hundred percent. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, gets plus one to his role. You know, Subway had a mask at one point. Jared. <laughs> Jared Fogle. <laughs> he did, he'd freak little Caesar. Up. <laughs> Jared Fogle was a man who a real life man. He real he lives unfortunately in our world, breathing our air. Yeah. And he lost a lot of weight eating Subway sandwiches, um, but. He got addicted to child porn. So that's why he is going to be represented with a 1d4 minus 2. Uh, <laughs> so you think he's weaker than a chihuahua? Mentally. <laughs> I, well, that might be true. <laughs> Physically, which again, I question. I am, I am not in a position to give any compliments to Jared Fogle. <laughs> yes, you are. You're I'm not. created for this contest. I'm You're not. Really fair. Okay, good news is, he has to go against Happy. Who's Happy? <laughs> okay. Happy is Judas. <laughs> Happy what? is the eater of worlds. Ronald McDonald used to be the bastion, the god, of the fast food mascot marketplace here. But God is dead in our in our timeline. Because we've been it's been replaced with happy this is the thing that has killed ronald mcdonald this thing wait like in modern t- this is what their mascot is right this now? is currently the mcdonald's mascot that has taken over uh all of mcdonald's is happy Why? um i do not know uh ter- ter- this is mcdonald's on twitter they've called us terrifying nightmarish cute someone thinks we're cute they know how terrifying these things are. They're giant Happy Meals that have come to life to eat on the innocents. Um, uh, and they have numbers. This is not just for one Happy. This is for a group of Happies who just smelt flesh in the air. Because um, every single McDonald's ha- Happy Meal is happy. I see the hamburger there and he's got four eyes. <laughs> yeah. What is happening there? Don't worry about that. Okay. So, uh, Happies, they have the power to levitate. They have uh, extreme agility. They have a massive hunger. Um, and they appear everywhere. What a stupid campaign this is. Yeah, I I loathe the Happies. Five Ways McDonald's Happy Meals are getting healthier? <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever read. <laughs> okay, so, uh, with the Happy character... That's like that's like saying cake's not really as bad for you as you think. It's not like good for you. So I didn't, I didn't go to McDonald's expecting a healthy meal. Uh, and uh, so with all this considered, with with the happies, um, I have decided that happies are worth a one. Guns? No, they're bananas. bananas. Okay. I have decided that happies because they have destroyed Ronald McDonald in canon. They're a one d twenty. You should be afraid of the happies. Jared Fogle is about to be eaten on mass. <laughs> so your reasoning mass. is only that Ronald McDonald was discontinued in favor of happy, which means that the happies have killed them, and now That's they run. Stretch. And they have run all of the fast food chains. This is a thing. This is a plague and a virus. With giant mouths ready to eat anything. They have an insatiable hunger. They have a massive mound of them. Like, they like... So I'm assuming they're multiplying in some way. I mean, but they still seem to be the size of a laptop, so... They're the size of a Happy Meal. But the ma- the, the sheer amount of them... How many are there? Hundreds. Thousands. Millions? You're trying to tell me there's as many Happies as there are Happy Meals in the world? I would say so. So they're constantly being produced. Constantly being produced. And they... Like... You ever seen the... Like... 
like a mini Eminem commercial where they just destroy everything in their wake. That's what I, they're like. <laughs> they're like if minions. They're like if minions w- were more Satanist. <laughs> uh, okay. This one's playing his tongue as a violin. Mm. They're freaking insane, man. They're freaking insane. Yeah, this one's like being that. racist, anyway. <laughs> Ow. If you saw this, you would run until you died. You you would keep running if you saw a happy. Don't tell me what I would do. <laughs> I don't like him. I, I, I stand by my 1d20 on this one. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll accept it. I don't have too much to complain about there. All right, if Jared Fogel wins this, this would be such an upset. So who are you playing as? Jared. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> On three. Please. Three. Please. Two. One. Uh, well, <laughs> that's tough to beat. That was a nat 20 versus a zero. <laughs> Oh, right, he has minus two. <laughs> he has minus two, and he rolled a two. Yeah, I forgot about Jared that. Jared Fogel stepped to the arena and then exploded. <laughs> <laughs> the Eater of Worlds, Happy, moves on. Who can stop this beast? Anybody? Moving on to the next <laughs> the next tournament. All right, we're going to do... We have Chuck E. Cheese here. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese is a rat, okay? And uh, he sells pizza. <laughs> Because his band is not with him, he does have a group as well. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese is not just him, but he's also part of a backing band. Uh, uh, It's Munch's band, which is a monster, who also includes a cowboy dog, and one of the lead singers is also a chicken. So there is a group there who are willing to back him up at any moment. He is a rebel. Uh, He... Goes against the grain. He's not ab- about this society. You know, I, I actually question. Yes. Uh, putting in the characters related to them. Yeah. You, yeah. Why? Why should we put his bandmates in? It's stock. It's equity. <laughs> it's what he has. Okay. Chuck E. Cheese is always seen with one of two things: his electric guitar. Or his skateboard. So he's a little bit fit. He knows how to skateboard. He knows how to shred. And he doesn't mm. take no griff from no man. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese has gone through two different designs over the years. One was he was a regular human size mouse. Yes. human size rat. Big boy. Yes. And he's been able to be mouse size. As of late, he's now small, like a little mouse. So that proves my theory... He can change shape and size in how he is currently feeling. Okay. Okay, so he can so he can get tall, he can shrink, he can play electric guitar, he can skateboard, and he has friends who are willing to back him up. Not everyone has friends. Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. And all of that considered... 1D4. <laughs> wow, you're a genius. All that considered, Chuck E. Cheese is a 1D8. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not as unbelievable to me as the cows versus the children. Yeah. But we don't know who he's going against yet. But you still think a band of fully grown, size morphing critters. Yes. With teeth that could shatter children's bones. Yes. Are equal in power to a group of nerds. They're really cool children. I don't care I sh- how cool Fine, they are. I should have given him 1d6, but that's behind us. And they died anyway to the cows. The cows ate them. a 1d4 <laughs> plus one for the electric battery. Uh oh. Who's Chuck E. Cheese going against? Uh oh. It's the Noid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the- the Noid is another big powerhouse. <laughs> oh, dude, Chuck E. Cheese is about to have the meat stripped from his bones. The Noid is not also smart, but he can rip apart a person in 5.8 seconds. Right. He is insatiable. He's not even a mascot. He's not advocating for Domino's Pizza. No, he he wants, is a villain. He's a villain. 
He's strong enough to take down a multi million dollar corporation. Yeah, and the only thing is the Noid is something that the only thing that can really defeat the Noid is a Domino's pizza box. That's the only weakness he has. And guess what's not a Chuck E. Cheese? If you don't tell me this guy's a D20. I'm he gonna, is okay. a D20. Okay, good. I'm going to let you play the Noid. Thank you. I am taking and this boy to the end. By the way, the Noid has a plus one. Yes, he does. Yes, okay. So here we go. Three, two, one. Seven! Son of a... Holy shit! That's such an upset. That's so annoying to me. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. I'm so mad. Okay, this... Okay, okay. so the Noid rolled Roll a, a two... two. <laughs> Plus one. Plus one to <laughs> a three. Chucky rolled a seven. Okay, so this is what happened. The Noid stepped up. I think the Noid wily coyote himself. He had his patented Peacher Crusher and he was going to do, do it, but then he got distracted from a massive kick flip and a guitar riff, and he actually ended up <laughs> underneath his own Pizza Crusher and then he became an accordion. <laughs> Sounds logical. All right. But I still think Chuck E. Cheese has a long way against him because he has to go against another D20 with Happy in the next round. Whew! This is exciting. Man, I did not think the Noid was going to lose round one. That sucks. That sucks. I was really rooting for the Noid. I also was rooting for the Noid. We're getting a lot of the the big boys here. Uh, um, this one is going to be Wendy from Wendy's. Okay. Is, uh, is the Trash Man in this? Trash Man? You know, he advocates for uh, Jersey Mike's. Oh, no, no, no. We don't wait. No. Why not? I didn't write them down. Why? I, I just didn't think about them. All right, so Wendy from Wendy's. What do you think my power ranking is for Wendy from Wendy's? <laughs> so, she has a big online media presence for being rude. Yeah. And mean and quick-witted. It's, it's pretty cute. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm a big fan of Wendy, personally. So... But from what I've seen... I'm going to fight for Wendy pretty hard here. From what I've seen, though, when I've looked in all the commercials and stuff, Wendy is not actually a huge thing in the commercials. We When we see Wendy, we see the actual human Wendy. Right. Um, which is just a woman who runs Wendy. She's an older woman. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Um, so the only thing I can... The only power that I could see here is... Wendy has the ability to turn into her human counterpart. That's the only thing I can no, see. No, no, no. So, okay, see, they, Wendy mm-hmm. has a massive cult following. Yes. And if you say they can use their, you know, their clout, then I think Wendy should be able to use her fan base of millions of otaku that are really into anime Wendy. Does that does that matter though? In a fight. Yes. In a fight. There's a there is a big difference between otaku and otaku fighting for the object of their affection <laughs> because they don't care about their life at that point. Okay. So imagine just millions of jihadi <laughs> <laughs> jihadi otaku. All right. That will run in and die to kill Wendy's enemy. Okay. That's a D20 at least. It's not a D20. Are you kidding me? It's not she has as many... As, like, but she herself is powerless. That's fine. And she is a mastermind. You don't even see her in the commercials because she is pulling the strings. 1D8. That's higher no, no. higher than what it was. I refuse. you got to give me a 1D10. Millions okay. of suicide bombers on her side. Okay, fine. I'm going to give... The, she has hypnotic... She's a hip. She's hypnotic, is what I'm yeah, going to say. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my D10? There we go. The reason I was late today, I was looking at Wendy's eyes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say she's so like... Plus one? Hmm? Plus two? No. D10 flat. You went up from a D6 with D10. Uh, that's that's power. I'm going to say that she has... One of her powers is hypnotism. Uh, like Poison Ivy from Batman. Excellent. All right, so next up... She doesn't even do it consciously, though. It's just like <laughs> an air of a lure. Okay, we're going to go... With the Hamburglar. Oh, he doesn't stand a chance. Okay. Hamburglar. He is cunning. I knew you were going to He's say smart. That. He is, is he, though? He is... Rubble, rubble, rubble. He is one of the main reasons. 
He's the there's villainy in the world at McDonald Land. Him and his friend Captain Captain Crook, they're there to steal all the burgers and the and the fillet of fish. But this is the Hamburglar by himself. He is smart. And he's mysterious. But like listen, the wind. He's listen, sneaky. No, 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 he's not. Have you seen the show? <laughs> you haven't seen the show. I mean, at the end of the he's, day, he gets caught. No, no. You haven't seen the show. Oh, well, I've seen the show. He just is like their friend. Yeah, he's their friend and he's a bumbling idiot. That yeah. He says, robble, robble, robble. That's all the time. one universe where he's like that. No. Yeah, that yes. He's McDonald Land. That's where he hails from. No, that was one. Show, show where me, he was like, show that. me any proof of him being cunning. You All won't right. find it. Look at that doof. He looks like one of the villains from freaking Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> you just typed in hamburger. <laughs> so confused for a second. Why are they all hamburgers? <laughs> he typed in hamburger. He forgot the L. <laughs> so we expected to see this idiot. We just saw a bunch of McDonald's. <laughs> what are the crimes? Uh, what could the hamburger be charged with? Manslaughter. Please say manslaughter. <laughs> Okay, let's see this commercial from last time. The burglary isn't in the hamburger's regular MO. I got the cheeseburgers, Carla. Thanks, Mom. Well, I've got the cheeseburgers. Do you see him just put a hole in the freak? He just instantly put a hole in there. That's power. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is not bode well. Yeah, he has powers to do this kind of stuff. Oh, my gosh. I'm gaining the Bye bye. Look at that. How'd he do that? Aw, oh, dang it. He's a time lord. Yeah. Oh, he was just freaking with him. Now, okay, <laughs> now let me, let me, whoa, let me whoa, argue. Hamburger's, Hamburglar's Rope, that sounds terrifying. This is in Japan. His, he's a lot scarier in Japan. Oh, that is so scary. Yo. I hate that. Oh, he's hiding behind that tree with the kids. He just licked, he just freaking wiped his mouth. Did you yeah. see that? He turned his... Whoa! He turned his stripes into a rope! Alright, so... Okay, so what we've learned... For, he's 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 a bumbler. He's okay? a bumbler. He's a bumbler. He doesn't know how to control his powers. Mm -hmm. And let me argue that in the first one... Sure. He jumped into a couch, and then he appeared out of a hole near the couch, and then he jumped into a dresser, <laughs> and then he appeared in a different dresser, and then he made the whole dresser open, Yeah, and, and there he were ran no into clothes. a door, and the door turned. Yeah. That's power. Listen, I understand, but I am going to argue that that was all Ronald McDonald doing that. I do not see They that. were working together. He the, gave them the hamburgers at the end. That is a sick and perverted game no, that you were no. putting on Ronald. They were making it fun for the kid. There was a kid in the commercial, and she was like, Over here, Ronald! Over here! He's like, oh, I'm gaining on him! I mean, the second one, the Bert Hamburglar, he took out his the color from his outfit and turned it into a rope that he to try to steal it. he himself with. Yeah, uh, yes, that was an accident. If you give him on Hamburglar on his best... That was an accident. The he Hamburglar, almost brained himself with a park bench. Hamburglar on his best day would leave a room full of corpses. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not getting him at his best. And I will say, that's a flaw. <laughs> Listen, if he can't perform, that's not my fault. And that's not my problem. Okay. He can perform. It's like, it's like he, he has powers. He's I'm like, huge on a good day. Like if he's, listen, he's impotent. Okay? Listen, listen. You know what's impotent? The amount of freaking weebs that w Wendy has nope, nope. at her disposal. Berserkers? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they would all willingly die for Wendy. Yeah, and it's and sad. So would I. At least Hamburglar is trying. <laughs> Wendy is not even trying. They steal from children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just let me point out he, I don't associate he, with terrorists it's we trendy. have not seen a single instance of him successfully stealing from children <laughs> the only people he no, goes after it's Ronald he's not he can't steal from Ronald if Ronald wasn't there the FBI would see nothing but teeth <laughs> He would eat the burgers. You're sick. <laughs> 
when he's done with the burgers, he's moving to pulsating children. Oh my god. <laughs> he's gonna take their lifeblood, put them into a freaking ground patty, and cook it with cheese. Where do you think they get the meat? <laughs> You're sick, Hamburglar, and you're gonna win. This is how he fuels his criminal enterprise. Hamburglar, it's a 1d8. Here we go. Minus one. He's an idiot. I went down from a d12 because of I'm your just argument. Saying, at this point, I argue that the the Burger King kids could kill him, <laughs> and I say that with total confidence. Fine. Minus one. Okay. Okay. 1d8 minus one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Are you yeah! The Hamburglar! I'm so mad. The Hamburglar moves on. I'm not rolling the movie. <laughs> Hamburglar. All right, who's going after the Hamburglar? Please, please, for the life of me, give us something good. I hate this game. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> okay, so first off we got... Tom Tom, the Panda Express Panda. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the Panda Express uh, Panda is Tom Tom. Tom Tom is a panda. That's a cute name. And that is it. Uh, Tom Tom has the powers of a panda. They're pretty vicious. They are. That's exactly why Tom Tom is going to get a 1d6. Um, Okay. Pandas can't even have sex correctly. I, I like. I don't think it will know it's in a. In Do you a, think? Let me ask you a question. Do you think a panda would get would would lick a double A battery and yeah. cry? <laughs> no, I don't think so either. So you're saying the panda is weaker than children with a static charge. <laughs> the this panda can't... will not know it's fighting until it's too late. If you get the right hit on a panda. No. Do you know how thick their freaking fur is and skin? See. Their bones and see, their muscles. I'm thinking of this as, you know, a hunter's game. Uh, I think Why? I, I think if I what got What are the kids gun, doing? Throwing rocks at them? They don't have a weapon. <laughs> what are you talking about a hunter's game? All right, you convinced me. 1d8. There you go. Thank you. All right. The equal to the Hamburglar. Barely. <laughs> Hamburg was almost agree. there. And I don't agree with that, but... Here we go. Who is Tom Tom going after? It doesn't matter if you have all the powers in the world if you can't freaking use them, right? I mean, Spongebob can freaking <laughs> regrow lost limbs and he can't even pass a boating test, you know what I mean? <laughs> he can do some insane things, but... Alright, so... The next one we have up here is going to be... This is going to be the Hardy Star. Um, <laughs> named Named Happy Star. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, and you're going to love this. He's a 1d6 minus 1. Why? Uh, because he has 5 points uh, as a star. Um, and uh, that would be 1 less than 6 if I minus it by 1. You are just... This is irrational <laughs> and illogical and foolish. I, he, he is a star. He would burn this panda to the ground. Well, other people can be around him and they do not burn. I think... Okay, fair. I think he is just a very... I think... I really don't think he's very ha- handsome. He's very wall handsome. Wall ornament. <laughs> <laughs> he is very handsome, um, but uh, I don't think that he has any real power besides being able to eat the letters off of the feed your happy thing. Okay. He flies around. He can talk. I think it was a boy who got trapped by a wizard uh, and became that. <laughs> well, that's frightening. And was forced to shill burgers. All right. So. Okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, but he's happy. He's called Happy you, Star. You, you're rolling. All right, there you go. Tom nope. Tom versus Happy. Nope. Oh, you're rolling both of them. All right, uh, Happy Star won. <laughs> this is a weird lineup. No, no, no. They tied. Nope. Happy is five minus one. Oh no 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 no! It's six. Oh, six minus one to make it only of uh, 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 upward to five. Oh, I see. Um, oh wait, no. That yeah, a D six minus one, so he got a four. Oh, so they tied. Yeah, they tied. Okay. Re-rack. Re-roll. Okay, so that what happened was like the 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 giant hardy star flew at them. The panda went and hit he him to the one, side. He took a piece of bamboo and went. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> dang. That panda ate that star so hard. Like a freaking dino <laughs> nugget. From 
The panda got eight, and the star got one. That that star. Oh, Tom Tom just <laughs> broke that fool over his knee. <laughs> and now, finally, the matchup we all deserve: Tom Tom versus the Hamburglar. Okay. This is gonna leave nothing but bones. <laughs> Nothing but teeth. <laughs> I love that. That's such a frightening. <laughs> you can't say that about something you said. I love that. I love that. I love it. Uh-huh. All right. Ooh. Oh, this is exciting. Coming up on the docket, it's the freaking Burger King. Oh, yeah. Okay. Burger King. I, there is a wiki on Burger King's powers. Same with Ronald. One of Burger King's powers is he can turn a man into a milkshake. <laughs> okay, that's so you're scary. giving him a D20, right? Oh, yeah, of course. For he, that alone. Yeah, he's got a D20. He is he, a... He's Majin Buu. He, he's very sneaky. He can go... He can. He's a powerful lockpick. He can reappear when you do not look at him. He can instantly appear behind you at any time. He's like Slender Man. If Slender Man's only thing he wants to do is give you a nice, tasty meal from Burger King. Um, we he, need to start looking into motivations. Because would the Burger King want to kill a panda? Oh, it, no, this isn't the panda. Uh, we, we're going to see who's going against. If this is Ronald, oh my god. Okay. Please. Ooh, ooh, who is it? Who is it? Okay. I didn't think we were going to get a matchup this good this early, but he's going against Colonel Sanders. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. This is like something you put on the advertisement to the boxing thing. That in this tournament, we have the Burger King versus Colonel Sanders. So, interesting. If you if you told me, if, you, if we had this competition in the 80s, uh-huh. Colonel Sanders would have been a 1d4, 1d6. It's an old man. That's all it was. But now, now, Colonel Sanders is one of the most powerful mm-hmm. of the fast food mascots. And that is because Colonel Sanders is no longer a man. He's a myth. He, he is a virus. Mm. Colonel Sanders infects hosts like uh, Last of Us. The, those fungus things that's what colonel sanders is cordyceps yeah have you if you've seen any kind of uh kfc commercial in the last 10 years it is a famous person who becomes colonel sanders and with it comes their power of that person colonel sanders could affect any person mm-hmm. he could affect muhammad ali well mm-hmm. that's probably bad express he's, he's dead he can affect um the Rock. Dwayne Johnson could get the Colonel Sander virus and then just destroy people while talking like Colonel Sanders. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I think that is the biggest thing about Colonel Sanders here. He's very adaptable. He also has the power to make things reappear, of course. Um, so anyone who... Uh, anything He can make like things appear out of thin air, uh, which is very similar to Burger King. But that's why I think they're... Very evenly matched. There's only one Burger King, but there are millions Colonel Sanders. If if it spreads, so I think whoever loses this, the Burger King just becomes Colonel Sander. Uh, if, oh. uh, and if the Bur- if the Burger King wins, uh, like he just decimated him with a huge attack somehow. This is D twenty flat. Who are you playing for? I think you have to play. I do. Uh. I want to see Burger King versus Ronald McDonald. I know. So you want Bur- you want to play as Burger King? Yeah. That's why I brought multiple dice. Oh no, man. <laughs> ah! Who do you want to play as? Whatever you don't want to play as. It's not helping. I'll me. play as Colonel. I'll be Burger King. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. oh, okay. The freaking the the destroyer of worlds, <laughs> the virus. <laughs> Colonel Sanders infected the, <laughs> the dimension hopping Burger King. No, like like it was one of those things where Burger King was like punching the lights out of one of the Colonel Sanders, and then he looked back. The camera was like pan- panned down to his fist. It was fine when it went down, and when it comes up, it had his fist. Sorry. To, 
growing the suit up him uh, up his sleeve. Dude, Colonel Sanders just basically took uh, took over the Celestial King from Katamari Damacy. <laughs> yes. Oh my just god! Straight up. That is terrifying. So now he is him. <laughs> He is him. <laughs> so, so yeah. So the Burger King is now the Burger King, but dresses Colonel Sanders. Yeah. And he and w- behind him is an army of other Colonel Sanders. Oh. Move, Jesus Christ! The fast food arena is scary. Can we add a plus one to Colonel Sanders every time he beats somebody? You got it. <laughs> <gasps> it's Ronald McDonald. Nope. <laughs> no. It's Grimace. <laughs> Disappointment. You see all the top villain Ronald McDonald, and you see those McNuggies just start jiggling. Grimace comes okay. out. So here's the thing: Grimace used to be a villain. Yeah, he, you couldn't tell. He used to be someone who stole the milkshakes, and he had not two arms but four. He was a he was a strong and a strong person who who could bash through a freaking wall. But he's as dumb as a bag of milk. <laughs> bag of milk. That's fire at Canada. Um, God bless America. So Screw Canada. It's kind of like a Hulk situation. And I think if you really make Grimace mad, and if Grimace had the need and desire to kill, he would grow his extra arms and go back to four. That's my head cannon, and that's what I'm... Saying is the lore of this. He's like a Mortal Kombat character. He's Goro. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Grimace is Goro. Um, so take that as you will. That's scary. I am saying Grimace could could have been a D twenty if he wasn't so no. freaking dumb. He's strong, but no, he doesn't I, deserve a D twenty just for strength. I I think D twelve for Grimace. I would think D ten. D ten. I doubt he's stronger than a bear. <sighs> I think he is, but we'll do D10. I'll, I'll compromise there. Uh, yeah, I'll give him a bit more strength than a bear. All right, who is Grimace going after? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. He's going against Ronald McDonald. He has to fight his lord and master. <laughs> oh, God. An this... insurrection this soon. <laughs> this soon is bracket. This is terrible. Okay, so... Ronald, Ronald right now has that f- face of the kid with a gun <laughs> picture where he's like crying and just like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ronald. That picture. Ronald is the most powerful thing. Um, uh, Ronald was the old king that got dethroned, but for years he dominated. For years, he has a magic bag. He can teleport. He can turn into goo. He has super speed. He, he can he can make sentient life yeah. uh, with his hands alone. Mm-hmm. He is basically Jesus. And <laughs> and I remember when Jesus became a puddle of goo. <laughs> Ronald is the only character because of how strong he is. He is the only person to roll with advantage. Yo, you crazy? Yes. He, right. he, that is why, uh, and Ronald does not want to do this, but it's the only way to save the world from Colonel Sanders and Happy. <laughs> All right. And Grimace is the only thing. And oh, look, the dice is purple like Grimace. Look at that. So I'm assuming you're playing as Grimace. Yeah. All right, if Grimace wins. That'd be quite the upset. I'm giving you a plus one, too. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, that was a 17. Well, All right. Grimace loses. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Ronald, uh, he did that thing from, uh, Dr. Manhattan did, where Gr- Grimace was, like, after they fought, fought, they said, DO IT! DO IT! And Ronald just waved his hand, and then Grimace was no more. Oh, my God. <laughs> Exciting development. Raced him like Doodle Bob. Ronald McDonald versus Colonel Sanders up next. It could have been Ronald Wait, versus really? That's the next fight? Oh, uh, after we get through the uh, qualifier. Okay. Okay. Who we got next? I don't know. I might have miscalculated. I think I did. Um, okay, let's see who's next. Okay. Uh, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is next. Are you Stupid familiar? Little clown thing? Yeah, uh... I think Jack in the Box is, is, a, is a fantastic character. 
Um, I'm going to show you, uh, Trenton, uh, this uh, this commercial, and I will play it for you on the podcast as well. So we're looking at the Jack in the Box lesbian commercial. It's my, one of my favorite commercials of all time. Why? You're about to watch it and find out. Jack, um, how do you know if you're a lesbian? <laughs> Did you have a question? No. Don't be afraid to talk about burgers. Okay, I'll start. Even though my Jumbo Jack is just 99 cents, it's still a great burger. Big and juicy and hot, because we won't make it till you order. That's where I'm coming from. Thanks. That helps. <laughs> you have a question? No. No. Let's talk about burgers. <laughs> That's where I'm coming from. <laughs> okay, that is an excellent uh, commercial. Can uh, we give him plus four? <laughs> well, he's a little high. This message is for the heads of McDonald's and Burger King. Guys, I don't want to tell you how to run your business, but here's a tip. McDonald's, don't let your pre-assembled burgers sit in holding bins. And Ooh. Burger King, those microwaves you use to reheat Whopper meat? Lose them. Now I know you're thinking, hey Jack, how can we thank you for this helpful advice? Forget it. I'm getting more joy from this than you know. In fact, I'm so excited, I'll be counting the days till you change your ways. Whoa, whoa. It's been seven days since I clued in McDonald's and Burger King about a great way to make burgers, and neither one's called me to say they're making changes. Maybe McDonald's doesn't mind pre-assembled burgers sitting around. Maybe Burger King thinks reheating Whopper meat in the microwave is okay. They probably just lost my phone number. Let's put it up. Okay, but remember, this is my private line, so don't call unless you're the head of McDonald's or Burger King. Thank you. Should we call the number? Maybe. I'm sick of waiting. I'm calling the owner of Burger King. Kathy, yes. give me the number for the owner of Burger King. It's what? An overseas call? England? Oh, that's right. Burger King is owned by an English company. That explains everything. We kicked their butt 200 years ago, and now they're using microwaves to reach their Whopper to get even Wow. It's so obvious. Burger King is owned by an English company. That's why it's called Burger King. He's like a terrorist. I'm um, Jack. You're on, sir. I could have been an astronaut. I passed the tests. Rode the rocket sled. I could be orbiting Earth right now. He passed the test of becoming an astronaut and he just chose not to do Burger it. Burger King and McDonald's to call. Why? So I can help them make better burgers. Is my phone number up? Uh, here it comes, sir. Roger that. <laughs> One of my competitors says you can have it your way. Really? Good luck ordering breakfast after 11 a.m. <laughs> my way means you can order anything on the menu any time of day, whether it's a burger for breakfast or French toast sticks at midnight. Other places won't let you do that. And hey, if I'm saying something that's not true, do something about it. <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! He's ripped! Every commercial we watch, I want to give him another plus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez. He's he... calling down out Burger King and McDonald's, and he's not afraid. He's so brave. Wait, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys are watching along with us at home. Yeah. Uh, if you're not, he just... He just called out Burger King and then said, if you're not, if you think I'm spreading lies, he ripped off his sleeves and showed off his massive guns and said, do something about it. Oh my God, he's so powerful. I love him. He's great. He is a fantastic character. Um, Okay, so now the only thing is, what do we give him? Because right now I gave him a 1d8 at the start. You have to give him more than that. Did you see those freaking guns? He is he's very... definitely stronger than Grimace. And he's really smart. He's like a... I, again, I will say he's basically a terrorist. He's super smart. He knows how to emotionally manipulate. Okay? He kn- he knows all about his competitors. Yeah. You know he wouldn't go into this freaking octagon contest. Without, without doing research, yeah. Knowing each and every move anyone could, could make. I this think... This guy is definitely a D12 plus two. I think he's a 15... You think a fifth, so D12 plus three? Yes, I think so. 
he's not as good as his big rivals, but he he makes it up with his IQ. He can sense every move before it even I agree. happens. Let's do it. And who's going against? Oh, we don't even know. Well, well, no matter what, he rolled eight, nine, ten, eleven. He rolled an eleven. So let's see who he went against. Oh. Okay. So, he is going against... To be honest, I lost track a while ago. He's going against Papa John. Um, oh, so, he is going to roll on Papa yeah, John. Yeah, so just for clarification, Papa John here... We know Papa John. He's yeah. a real person. Yeah. And that's all he'll ever be. Papa John's... Power. <laughs> Papa John's just a normal guy. What the? F- <laughs> Papa John, I gave him a one d four because he's just a man. I agree. And he's getting he's getting uh, worse by the day. Um, he's becoming older. He's not he, he's not as strong as he used to he's be. He's out of shape. All that mozzarella. But that being said, I'll let you roll. Uh, well, you already we already rolled. So let's see let's see how he did. And he failed. Oh. <laughs> Jack in the box moves on. Papa Papa John grabbed two pizzas and wielded them like swords, and he held them out to his sides and ran at Jack in the box, and Jack in the box flicked him in the head and it exploded like a grape. <laughs> <laughs> let's, give him Jack, let's give Papa John's more credit. I think Papa John's trying to leave with a bribe. He tried to bribe him out. He's like, come on, let me through. And then Jack in the box just hit him with his big old head and just, <laughs> bam, <laughs> Listen, I come from money. <laughs> you can trust me. Cheese Coon is next. Cheese Coon? Cheese Coon. I'm just going to start picking them out until we fill up the rest. This could go either way. Cheese Coon is a mascot for Pizza Hut. This is Cheese Coon. Uh, He's from Japan. Yeah, I was about to say Cheese Coon. Cheese Coon is from Japan. He delivers cheese and he's made out of cheese. He's just a nice little guy. He's adorable. I ge- You can't tell me he isn't. Oh, he's very cute. I'm rooting for him. Okay, the power of Cheese Coon. He has a little family. Okay. Uh, so che- that's Cheese Coon's family. Um, he is very sweet and adorable. But another thing with Cheese Coon is... I say he has the power to melt and then come back into his original form. That's where Cheese Coon lives. And I don't think that's official. I don't know if that's official. But nope. I think it is official. He has a top hat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. He has it in every one. But I still give Cheese Coon a 1d4. <laughs> that's fair. I don't think Cheese Coon wants to fight. Who's he going against? All right. Cheese Coon is going against... Okay, Cheese Coon is going against a... a... Okay, I'm going to let you choose. Whopper or chicken? Choose one. Whopper. Okay. That, so Because that just makes sense. You know why? Why? Because Whoppers don't come with cheese. <gasps> You're right. Okay. Cheese Coon is, gonna, is about to show the Whopper that everything's better with cheese. Well, we're going... Okay, so with Whoppers, okay, we're going... This is actually a tag team. This is like your duck hunt in Super Smash Brothers. By the way, when we finish with the qualifiers, we're going to call this episode. And we'll do it part two. Really? Because I don't know how... Because we're... Let's see how much time we're at right now. It's not going to take as long if we're not doing the... Ro- just rolling for each character, but... It all, it all, how much time do we have? Right now, it's a, we're at an hour and 20. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Gotta... So, Burger King... My catheter, man. <laughs> okay, so Burger King uh, had a campaign with the Whopper Jr., it, you know, it always made me mad. Why does the Burger King Whopper not come with cheese? No idea. You shouldn't idea. have to ask for no cheese. I shouldn't have to say, I want a Whopper with cheese. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? What kind of burger? What kind of burger doesn't have cheese? <laughs> so... You freaking kid- Go to any freaking dad <laughs> in America. They put cheese on their burgers, okay? A freaking pot-bellied, super unhealthy, barely cares about his family dad, would still throw a crap cheese signal on the MFR. <laughs> They're greedy. And Burger King can't even bother. It is funny that 
a Whopper with cheese is a separate menu item. I'm, it's freaking it's infuriating. Sell yourself for a buck, Junior. Why not? Because as long as you live in my house, you'll live. By- oh, all right. So Whopper and Whopper Junior are. Well, yeah, Whopper Senior and Whopper Junior was a multi-commercial campaign from Burger King. They and this was like before they brought back the Burger King, I believe, where this was like their mascot for a little while. Something tells me this is going to be as good as Jack. for a buck, Junior. Why not? Because as long as you live in my house, you'll live by my rules. You got it? I thought Burger King was the home of the Whopper. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? All my life, you've been off being America's favorite burger, and now you want to come home and be Dad? No. You get back here. Get back here! What are you going to do? Spank my bun? I will knock your buns into next week, fella. Whopper Junior for a buck. Bringing some attitude to the new BK value. <laughs> It was so dry. <laughs> it's very dry. <laughs> Junior, now that you're selling yourself for a buck, you're going to meet a lot of girls. What? Well, when a Whopper loves a woman, they... <laughs> <clears throat> they mix up their sauces and stuff and... Dad, please stop. Here, take this. What's this? It's an extra napkin. Put it in your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention it. Holy freaking crap. That's awful. <laughs> Alright, so... Jeez. So we have Whopper and Whopper Jr. as a tag team. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're they're a tag team group. Um, they have a lot of uh, tension. They do. And I think because of their tension, they will not be able to work together as a cohesive unit. No, no, no. Being burger people. Um, so, uh, it is funny that Whopper Jr.'s sister... Is just a regular girl. Yeah, yeah. So is the wife. Uh, so, I'm going to say Whopper Whopper Jr. is a D6. Uh, okay. It's fairly uh, generous, but... I um, think they can maneuver with those freaking massive buns. That is true. I think the kids are stronger than them at this point. Let's go D4. They're, they're not working together. If they work together... They're not working together. They're, they have no mobility. They have no power. Like, their arms are so far out. It's like it's like a T-Rex. Yes. Yeah. You know? And we're going... Just like uh, McDonald's, um, we're, we're going to have the Battle of the BK mascot. Subservient? Subservient Chicken um, is another BK mascot here. Um... And Subservient Chicken was a mascot uh, that was very famous back in the day. Um, yeah, there was a website where Burger King funded this, and it was like, you could tell, it was like a, a game where they filmed thousands of commands, and you can tell the chicken to do anything they wanted, you wanted to. Like, uh, and he would do it. Be- because the proof was, you, chicken, exactly how you want it to be. Uh... <laughs> These were TV commercials. I mean, I'd like the Burger King chicken to be juicy. I mean, that'd be a nice start. <laughs> Their chicken sandwiches are trash. Listen, we are we are wasting time. Here. Okay, okay. The subservient chicken. Okay, he can do whatever you want, but because of that, I think it would be very hard to win as a subservient chicken. Because as soon as you tell the subservient chicken, it's like, Bar-bar! "Hey, chicken, die." Here's a gun. Yeah, shoot yourself. Shoot yourself in front of your family. Done. He loses. So he's a 1d4 <laughs> minus 4. He literally can't win. We'll give him a 1. Okay. All right. 1d4 minus 3. 1d4 minus 3. And we, so there is a chance Subservient Chicken could, could win. Tie. Could he tie. He can't win. <laughs> An event of a tie. Ah, oh, dang. He can't win, but he could tie. If the other guy rolls a 1 and he rolls a 4. Unless he breaks from those shit. Those shackles. How? It's his whole purpose in life. You're right. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see if they tie. Oh, uh, they did not tie. No. <laughs> Whopper and Whopper Jr. <laughs> Yay! This is going to be a heavily edited episode. Funnily enough, they tried not to use Subservient Chicken's <laughs> biggest weakness, but they were losing. And then they... <laughs> Took the coward's way out and said, kill yourself. And he was like, no! 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 (laughs) Poor chicken was winning. Um, okay, so I don't have a lot more here. I mean, I have enough to fill this out, but do we need to? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. I have that many. 
Mm -hmm. on the wheel. There's only like three more on the wheel. Yeah, uh, but for this tournament bracket, I have enough to fill out all of these. But I think this is going to cover it. I think this is plenty. We'll just cut this part out. So these people are already going to be like almost there. Alright. Okay. So the next time. Next time, the thrilling conclusion on do, 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 the fast do, do, do. food mascot tournament bracket. Crisis on Infinity Burgers. The Super Smash Burger. The what, what's another fighting game? Street Burger. <laughs> Mortal Virtua Burger. <laughs> Mortal Burger. Dead or a Burger. <laughs> Soul Caliburger. Soul <laughs> Caliburger. I like it. That's good, buddy. All right. All right. Who? Okay, well, let's say end of episode uh, roundup, who do you think is going to take this to the, to the, to the top? I'm I'm gunning for Jack in the Box. I want him to win this whole thing. He deserves oh, it. Same. Somebody has to stop the Colonel. Yeah. Um. I really thought the Noid was going to give a better showing. Uh, I would have if you told me at the beginning that this was going to happen. I would not believe you. I'm just saying, Jack in the Box up against steep competition. They're, He's fighting the Colonel in the in after after he beats the Whopper Twins. Well, he's either fighting Ronald McDonald or Colonel Sanders. No, Colonel won. Yeah, it, well, yeah, Colonel is going against Ronald. Oh, right, he'd be Burger King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's going to be rough. Yeah, but so also, he's fighting two freaking moguls. There is a risk that this could still end up being Happy versus Ronald McDonald. <laughs> that would be intense too. Yeah. I'd... <laughs> All right, so that's it for this episode. See you in the next for the thrilling conclusion of Fast Food Tournament Bracket. Uh, by the way, you can get us uh, at GalPod on Twitter. Uh, oh, yeah, or I'll you can send it. us an email at I'll give you an hour at gmail.com. Send us your predictions. Who you think's going to win, brother? I'm rooting for Jack in the Box. We're all Team Jack in this one. You can call us a pair of Jack-offs.